Hey, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a palette bingo with the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. Now, this actually wasn't the video that I wanted to put up this week. I actually had a 3 looks one palette video that I was going to be putting up this week instead of this video. And unfortunately, when I went to edit the video, bear in mind I filmed this video over three days, uh, the footage was corrupted and I lost all of it. I'll actually put the photos of the looks right here because I'm actually really proud of them. I'm really happy with how they turned out and I mean not all is lost. I guess I still had photos of the looks. They are posted on my Instagram beauty account so do follow me on there if you want to see more looks from me specifically. And I guess not all is lost because it, it did help me you know figure out my thoughts on this palette but I thought I still wanted to do a video using this palette since I do have it and I thought a palette bingo was perfect for this because I mean look at the variety. This could go chaotic very quickly. We're gonna go and use a random number generator. Yes, I'm holding up my laptop because I film my videos on my phone. I don't know if you can tell. This is gonna be a little bit awkward but there are 15 shades in this palette and I am excited to see what we're gonna get. I feel like we have maximum chaos potential with this. Okay, so the first shade that we got is shade number 11. Okay, okay, so that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This shade right here called Saturnalia, it's a really beautiful green. I really like this shade actually. Let me just roll up my sleeve because I don't want to risk getting this all over my grey jumper, but that's the shade right there. Very, very pretty. There are a lot of metallics in this palette, so I'm a little bit worried that we won't get any mattes, but the next shade is shade number 15. Oh wait, I think that's the... yes it is. It's this shade right here called Terrace. I actually use Saturnalia and Terrace in one of my three looks that I've done with this. I've actually done four looks with this palette, but anyways. <sighs> it's a really powdery shadow, but that's Terrace right there. It's a beautiful chocolate brown. I actually love the combo of these two together. I really hope this doesn't look the same as the as the other look. Otherwise that'd be a little bit pointless. But anyways, let's go for the next one. I've got eyeshadow on my laptop. Great. Next shade is shade number six. So that is... One, two, three, four, five, six. That is Starlight Sonata. I used this one as well in that look as well. I really hope I don't get the other neutral shades because otherwise I'm just going to be basically recreating a look that I've already done. I also forgot to mention that I will be picking out five shades since I feel like I typically use around four to five shades in most of my makeup looks. And now we're going to generate the next number, number three. Oh, 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 oh. Number three is this shade right here called Flamingo. Well, that threw a wrench in the system. I mean, I'm glad that we got one of these bright mattes, but what is this? I hope we get one more matte because then that would kind of even things out. So gonna generate the last color and that is number nine. Number nine? Oh no. Number nine is Cosmic Cabaret. Actually, you know, this actually could work. This actually could kind of work. Uh, let me just swatch it. Let me just swatch it up here on my knuckles. Not the nicest swatch, but you know, that could work. In a weird way, that could actually really pull things together. This is the color story that we are working with right here. I'm so sorry that the lighting is going a bit crazy. These metallics are so shiny, it's kind of throwing off the white balance. But we've only got two mattes to work with, which I think is the most, the most, not annoying, but that's the most challenging part of this look. So I'm just gonna put my laptop aside and then zoom you guys in a bit closer so we can actually do this. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in a little bit closer and you might actually notice that my eyes are a little bit stained. And that's because I was actually filming this look and I put like the hot pink in the crease and then I started to put the purple shimmer all over the lid, but then I got a cool idea to do like a kind of, kind of cut crease type thing, like a moon shape. You'll see, you'll see. So that's why I decided to take the makeup off and do it again. So if you're curious, that's why my eyes are a little bit stained. I think you can tell on camera. I mean, I can tell in person. They are slightly stained. So I'm just gonna reprime 
and do this again. If you are curious, I did use the Milani eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna be going in with Flamingo again in the crease. I think for this look, I am planning on doing like, I explained it a little bit, but basically it's going to be this pink in the crease, the purple and this shade right here, this like metallic pinky champagne. And I'm going to be putting those shades on the lid and I'm actually not gonna be using the brown shade to deepen up the outer corner, but I'm actually going to bite the bullet and not do that today, which is going to be a bit of a challenge because I do love dimensional eye looks, especially dimensional matte eye looks, but we're not going to do that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and refrain because I don't really want to mix the brown with the pink on the lid. I actually can't wait to review this collection from Kaleidos. Um, like I mentioned, they have sent it to me in PR and I'm just, I'm so excited to review it for you guys because I have a lot of thoughts and opinions and I think it'll be really fun to share. I think that video will be going up pretty, pretty soon since I have been just constantly playing with this palette and everything else. And I do want to increase the amount of videos that I put out per week, like maybe twice per week, but honestly this week has really said to me, no. No, it's been a tough week. It's been a tough week, but I'm trying to, I mean, every week's been a tough week for me. I'm gonna be straight up, but I'm gonna try and get back on it. I have a lot of videos that I wanna film, but I have to wait on a couple of orders that I've made. So I'm still waiting on my Lunar Skies order and my Cleona order, but those should be arriving pretty soon, like at least by the end of June. But hopefully this makeup look comes out nice because I will be filming another video directly after this one and I will be live streaming tonight on Twitch. So I hope I don't look like a clown. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take a little bit of concealer, just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm gonna have to put it on this hand, oh no. Oh no, no, no. I haven't actually done this type of shape of cut crease before, half cut crease. So let's see if I can do it. And then out here, instead of just leaving it like a sharp line, I'm going to round it, round it out. Oh god, this is really hard to film. <laughs> you know, they may be two different shapes, but they're sisters, they're not twins. But do we see how it's kind of like round at the edge? It's not like a sharp line, it's more rounded. I don't know if I achieved it though. <laughs> oh no. Like how did this eye turn out so nicely and this one just turned out to look like a potato? Like I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm now going in with Flamingo on like a packing brush just to like, intensify this outer edge a little bit more. Now I'm gonna be going in with Cosmic Cabaret and I'm going to take that on a wet brush. This shade is definitely one of my favorite shades on the palette. I mean, look how stunning that is. I'm trying to brainstorm other ideas that I could do. I know I do wanna do some other three looks, one palettes with some other palettes I own. I actually recently purchased the September Rose brew palette and i'll actually i'll show you guys that after i finish this shadow hang on a second this is the september rose brew palette and i think this is the palette i'm gonna do a three looks one palette with next yes it is kind of like a neutral palette but it's seriously gorgeous i've used this a couple of times and i love it but i think i'm gonna work through my collection and do like a three looks one palette video with every single palette in my collection. Let me know if you would guy if you guys like the idea because if if y'all aren't sold on the idea then I I won't do like a video on every single palette, but I think with most of my palettes I'll do a three looks one palette. I'm now going in with this shade Starlight Sonata and I'm going to put that on the inner portion of this look. It's actually it's coming together. I'm a bit scared for the brown. A little bit scared for the brown, I'm not going to lie. I mean don't get me wrong, it is a very pretty brown. Like it's very pigmented. It does work. It's like, it's a really nice, nice to work with shadow, but I just don't know how it's going to really work with this color scheme. I love blending metallic shades together 
to kind of make like a gradient. That's like one of my favorite techniques that I think more people should do. If you want to bring more dimension to your look, don't only do it with matte shades, but do it with metallics, because then it really looks like something amazing. <laughs> like it almost looks like you've made like a spectrum on your eyes. Almost like you're wearing like a multi-chrome shadow. Okay, now I'm going back in with the purple shade and then I'm just gonna blend the two together a little bit more just by patting them, patting the edges. I mean, that is super pretty. This eye is the good eye, don't. Don't look at her, just look at this one. Just look at this one. Now I'm thinking either putting this green on the inner corner or on the lower lash line, or maybe I'll bring it both. I think I'm gonna do both. So I'm just going to go off camera. I'm gonna do my mascara and I'm gonna do my base makeup and I'll be back to finish off the eyes. Okay, so I've just done the rest of my face apart from my lips because I'm not too sure what I wanna do with my lips just yet. We have these two shades to work with, this green and this brown. So I'm gonna be going in with Satinalia on my inner corners and I'm gonna kind of pull that a little bit underneath as well. How am I going to use this brown? <laughs> That's my main concern, but let's put on the green. I know it's a little bit dark for an inner corner highlight, at least for my skin tone, but I do love like a colorful inner corner. I think it it's so much fun. I'm gonna actually drag this underneath a little bit. But I'm now going in with Flamingo, and I'm gonna take that on the same packing brush and just Put that underneath my eye. I don't know how I'm going to work this brown in. I'm thinking of maybe putting the brown like a little bit on the outer edge of my lower lash line, but yeah, I don't know. I don't want to add the brown because I feel like adding the brown just ruins everything. So I'm lightly going to take Terrace, like very lightly since this is pretty pigmented on this smaller brush and I'm just gonna like dust it off a little bit like see how pigmented that is I just tapped it in the palette and I'm just gonna start on this side I'm just gonna ever so slightly add a bit on the on the outer edge I just want to add a slight bit of depth I'm now going to go back in with Flamingo, the hot pink, and just go over that just to make it a bit lighter. Okay, and with that, let's just put something in the waterline. I'm going to take a hot pink. I literally cannot see inside my drawer because I'm that blind. Where's the pink? I'm literally grabbing all my eyeliners. Where's my pink one? There it is. Took a while, didn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna use Colourpop's Piggy Bank. Is this Piggy Bank? No, this one's called Boots. This is Boots, Piggy Bank's the purple. I'm gonna put that in the waterline. Or should I put a green? No, I wanna put pink. I love these eyeliners from Colourpop. They're actually the best ones ever. Like if you have any favorite like colorful eyeliners, for the waterline, do let me know, but like, I find it very hard to stray away from Colourpop. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I'm just gonna do my brows and my lips and then I'll be right back. And with all of that said and done, this is the finished look. I'm actually really, really, really happy with it. Like, I would never have really thought to do this colour combo. Like, it's pretty fun. Like, I love the green. Like, the green really just like, ties everything together. I mean, you can see that I have used the brown on the lower lash line, but I don't know how obvious that is, so I might have cheated a little bit, but this is the colour story on my eyes. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this look, and also if you want me to try and do another three looks, one palette with this palette, I could recreate the looks that I've already done or do some other ones. I'm not too sure, but that will probably come around much later. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.
Bye.